Hello everybody, welcome to Minutes with PJ. Today's date is July 16, 2016. Our discussion today is going to be the word splendiferous. In Psalms 91.1, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Matthew 5.14, You are the light of the world, a city that is on a hill cannot be hid. In John 8.12, I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. In 1 John 1, 5 through 9, This then is the message which we have heard of him, and declare unto you that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him, and walk in darkness, we lie, and do not have the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. This is an unusual word. Um, I had to look it up. It means extraordinary or showily impressive, splendid, magnificent, fine, having great beauty and splendor. The splendor or magnificent of the city could not be hidden. Jesus Christ is the splendiferous light of the world. If we believe in him, we no longer walk in darkness. If we walk in the light, we have fellowship with one another and our sins are washed free by the blood of Jesus Christ. If we confess our sins, God is faithful to forgive us and will cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I want you to think about this today. Have a blessed day.